What's up guys? This is Webby and this is... Jason Funny No Dip. Yes, everybody knows that you're Jason Funny No everybody. Dip. Everybody. You always start off every wrestling podcast you are with me. We're saying no dip after your name. Yeah. Yes. And the draft just got done ending, right? The uh, military draft. Well, no. The first night of the WWE draft is over. Oh! And quite frankly, wrestling fans, I think it's clear. SmackDown is officially the A show in the WWE. They did some things that were different tonight, Whoops. wrestling fans, that has to do with the draft. Fox and USA are kind of picking the draft picks. Yes. The battle between the channels. Yes. Stephanie McMahon announcing who is going to Raw or SmackDown. All that. But so much more. Ah! Including a new style. A new era in Bailey. We're going to be going over that today as well. Right Bailey here Bailey on Leaf. the podcast. We'll be back in just a minute. Bailey Leaf. Stay tuned in. What are you doing? Oh, I'm <laughs> relaxing. You're relaxing, huh? Well, you know, wrestling fans, the the first night of the draft is officially over. And quite frankly, there are some things that I did not agree with. Of course. That's basically your criticism. You're good about the the, the, the negative, the negative part of the. There's some things that I didn't agree with, and there's some things that was positive about it. <laughs> but, you know, quite frankly, I'm wrestling fans, you. look. When we look at the WWE draft, we look what happened tonight. Why, why on earth did WWE? Start off the night the way that they did with Bray Wyatt and Seth Rollins. Now, I understand Monday Night Raw getting the first draft pick. Right? Right. Are you going to say anything or are you just going to Sorry. continue to suck your I, uh, <laughs> I didn't. I just had to complain. Sorry. It's just a a little longer of a drink there, but uh, yeah, the they the draft. I mean, pick, you're spit, I mean, you're spitting on me too. Well, I am not. <laughs> this guy's some Dr. Pepper. Oh no wait, that's mostly Dr. Pepper. Anyway, the draft. Anyway, Seth Rollins and Bray Wyatt. They pretty much was the start of the show. If you want to know the truth, because. They started to show off Roman Reigns versus Seth Rollins. And the winner, the winner, was going to decide. <laughs> you got to stop. <laughs> All right. Now, now that that's over, wrestling fans, maybe we can do this again. <laughs> um, what? Ray Wyatt and Seth Rollins. The WWE draft. Yes. Okay. The first night of it tonight is done and over with. WWE doing some different things with it this time around. Much different. USA and Fox. They're deciding who is going to their shows. They're deciding who goes to Monday Night Raw. And SmackDown Not Live. Wrestling fans. Like SmackDown Live, I'm sorry. They are actually making it look like the NFL draft, the war room, all that stuff. Have you ever seen uh, Draft Day? Have you ever seen that, Jason Funny? Draft Day, is that a movie? Yes, Draft Day with uh, Kevin Costner. Oh, no. It was, no. You ever seen that? 
No. They literally show a war room during draft day, picking draft picks during for uh, draft no, day I mean, for the college. Oh, for the college. Yeah, college. No, picking, uh, in, picking for the NFL. No. Yeah. No. That's kind of what it looked like today. Had some cheesy moments with USA executives and and, and Fox executives. I, I mean, cheesy. honestly, the biggest cheesy moment that I could see tonight was when USA got excited over getting Almighty Christmas. <laughs> <sighs> yes, that was cheesy. I mean, honestly, when you have Fox getting stars like Braun Strowman, getting stars like Bray Wyatt, and and, 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 and stars like that, and you have USA getting excited over Bobby... Lashley. I have no idea what you just said. Okay. But Bobby Lashley. That's pretty bad. Alright, wrestling fans. Now, speaking of Bray Wyatt. Speaking of The Fiend. Okay. We didn't speak of him. Okay. He started off the show interrupting Roman Reigns and Seth Rollins' matchup. Okay? To determine who, who gets the number one draft pick this year. Of course, Monday Night Raw gets it. WWE wants to pretend like Raw is still the A show by by, uh, them getting the number one overall draft pick. Please, by the end of this first night, we know that SmackDown is, is live. Live. Oh my gosh. Is the A show. Is the A show. I don't know. Raw can be A minus. No, it's definitely down in the bottom of the gutter. Would be. Now, I think Paul Heyman's going to do a great job with the stars that uh, that it's been given so far. Let's see what happens come uh Monday night, but as far as the names, Fox definitely has it. Now, we're going to get into why, I mean, honestly, Raw's got names, honestly, why Fox got Braun Strowman, look, he's in a rivalry with Tyson Fury right now, of course he's going to Fox, well, Raw's got names on it. The Raw. I'm not talking about Raw right now. I'm talking about Strowman. Yes, Braun Strowman. He's at a rivalry with Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury has no WWE experience. None. Zippo. Zip it Zip it all. Yeah. None. Now, I know you have an opinion on Kane Vasquez. And Tyson Fury being in WWE. Do I have an opinion about it? Yes, I know you do. Because you told me that when we were watching SmackDown uh, tonight. Did he trim his hair up? He don't look so haggity now. What are you talking about? That guy, well, he said he had, used to have long hair. No, you said that you didn't like it that everything was turned into MMA and UFC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you're talking about that one. Yeah, I mean, come on. Why do they have to bring... Of course, this, this guy right here is maybe a little bit better than Brock Lesnar. But, uh, yeah, they have to drag some people can't make it in the UFC anymore to the WWE. Well, you know, you know, they're doing that also because, you know, the show's on Fox, too. What's that? Webby? You know that has something to do with it. Maybe not, Webby. Because UFC is associated with Fox. And Fox Sports. Oh! Okay. Makes sense now. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I just stole that for you, okay? Webby. 
Jason funny. You have to excuse Jason funny when it comes to that kind of stuff. He tastes funny. You're eating the wrapper. Oh. Whoops. But anyway, what I was getting to when it came to Bray Wyatt and Seth Rollins is, why did Seth Rollins win by disqualification tonight? Why did they uh, book the match that way? I, I mean, I like the booking as far as uh, the storytelling. Don't you? Oh, sure. I, I know you... Well, I don't know how much a fan you are of storytelling. But I love storytelling. I love the uh, action inside the squared circle, too. But I love storytelling. Good I, like what they, I like what they have done with the Bray Wyatt character. But the brain lawyer. But let me attitude. let me tell you let me tell uh, you if if they are officially keeping Bray Wyatt on SmackDown, there is no reason why they should have done that in the opening segment. Why do I do that? Yeah, I don't know, Webby. I think, you know, they're bringing back a little bit of attitude era, it seems like to me, with the storytelling Getting and stuff. a little edginess? Yes, and I like that. I want some... Look, the reason I've been bored for years with WWE, used to be a huge fan, believe it or not, back a long time, is because... Key, I, word, hey, key word there, wrestling fans, is a long time ago. Yeah, I'm going to put that in quotes. Webby! My point is, it was like... a giant era. Well, no, it's also the attitude era. It's like a soap opera, kind of. It was like, there were storylines, there was gimmicks, and all this stuff. I mean, you know, even past Andre the Giant era, there was, you know, up in, even to the attitude era, they had some, uh, sometimes quirky, uh, but very funny storylines. And they had made wrestling interest... It, for the last 10 years, they've been doing just... They haven't really been doing... Building up the characters. Giving them personalities. They're all the same when they come to the ring. They don't give them no and mic And you say that... Wait, wait, okay, hold on now. So you say that I'm cringeworthy. And, and, and that I just gripe, moan, groan, and complain. I'm just saying they never give them no mic time. They used to know. Oh, by the way, you're disgusting. You just burp. <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> but <laughs> now, but yeah, well, I mean, I'm complaining about that. They're bringing it back, though. So it's not, I'm not complaining now. I'm starting to bring some back, giving us some mic time, a little bit of drama in there. Put some drama in, in it. Everybody likes drama. Yeah, so it's webby, but I mean, besides that. But uh, Whatever, wrestling fans. Another thing that really needs to be discussed tonight is Bailey. Bailey and Charlotte for the women's championship. Now, I know that Jason Funny was very happy with what happened tonight with the Bailey buddies being destroyed by Bailey. I frankly am happy that uh, she just destroyed them. As well, got an attitude, and that uh, she just went off on the uh, attitude. Well, not the way you have an attitude, attitude. With it, but how she just went off on the wrestling fans I at the end of the ma at the end of the show. Now, as far as her winning, I don't like the results of the match. As far as her winning the SmackDown Live or the SmackDown Women's Championship. Whatever you want to call it now, because it's on Fox. She only won it. So Charlotte can become 11-time women's champion. That's I'm not just, true. I'm just throwing that out there. I don't see Bailey holding on to that title very long. They have to build up something for another week on SmackDown. Or they have to build up something for the Survivor Series. Thanksgiving night. 
You right, see, you, you see, wrestling fans. You see, wrestling fans. We all remember, and we have to keep this in the back of our mind, that the women can't go over and wrestle at Crown Jewel. Why not? Because it's in Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia, I'll get you one of these days. Are you kidding me? You're not doing squat. <laughs> what? Yeah, I will. So they have to build to something else. So what are they Can building they just to? Tobins and so they're building to the Survivor Series. Or, and that's if, and that's if they do away with the red brand versus the blue brand. Raw versus SmackDown. So if they do away with that, Bailey versus Charlotte, Survivor Series. If not, we're going to see another women's championship matchup on Fox. Well, of course you are. I mean, Charlotte, Charlotte Flair is Fox. You know, you really Fox don't. is Charlotte Flair. I mean, come on now. She brings in the ratings, the money, the moolah. Cha -cha. Yeah. Cha -cha. Are you okay there? You throwing up? A little bit. Oh. Whoop. Anyway. We'll have to see what happens come Monday with the rest of the draft. Because the Viking Raiders are going after the Raw Tag Team Championship. Now, what do you think that's going to happen with that? They were drafted the Raw. It said that tonight. Quite frankly, I see them capturing the Raw Tag Team titles from Robert Roode and Dolph Ziggler. Possible, but and, that's an outstanding then, team to beat. And then... I don't know if they have what it takes. And then maybe Dolph Ziggler or Robert Roode going to SmackDown. I mean, they might have two great, great So, what champs. do you think? I if mean, they honestly, don't go to SmackDown, then this... I mean, no team is really going to beat them right now. I don't see a team out there that has their quality... The Viking Raiders. Eh, they're a bunch of Vikings. Well, they know. <laughs> you have to see on Monday, but I think Viking Raiders are going to be new tag team champions. Ah! I don't see the Viking Raiders losing. Tune in my channel Monday and find out. Yes, tune in Monday and find out. He'll actually tell you, and he'll also tell you that Michael Cole is the worst. The most worst. wonderful announcer. I just enjoy his commentary so much I got lost in the moment. Oh, my God. Um, anyway... Wrestling fans, tonight's first draft, it was filled with the usual, kind of expected it, AJ Styles remained on Monday Night Raw, that means Shinsuke Nakamura is going to stay on SmackDown with the final title. Who? Nakamura. Oh, oh yay! The, the guy's drunk. Come yes. On. Oops, I'm trying to say that. Yes. And a crazy guy. Yeah. What else can we say? Besides Nakamura. Besides, do you have anything else to plug? When we plug it now, wait till the end of the show. No, just go ahead and plug it. I want to do it at the end of the show. It's about the end, so. Plug it. If you want to get off of here. Uh, yes, I'll plug it. Uh, go to your search engine. I'm trying to get off here because there wasn't much to talk about when it comes to SmackDown. It was a good show. It was an alright show, but there wasn't much to talk about. You had... Whoops. There wasn't a whole lot to talk what about. about Brock? What the freaking do? <laughs> Brock Lesnar was on there, and, and he, he, he talked... And Paul Heyman talked about... Kane Velasquez, I already got your opinion on the stupid thing. Okay. <laughs> All right. I already got your opinion on it. I tried to give you the mic, the, the, the time for it. Okay, well. 
So do you have something to plug Yes, if you give me time. <laughs> give me some time. My channel name is <laughs> KJLW42 Channel in capital letters. They're on YouTube. And then my Facebook page is at uh, FunnyTubers42. And then I have a Twitter at Jason Lee394. And then I got a TikTok, Jason. Whatever, you can look it up. TikTok. It's <laughs> my channel. Just go to the KJLW42 channel post. Click subscribe and the little bitty bitty bell button for notifications. And then you can look on the subscriptions of my videos and go to my Facebook, Twitter, and uh, TikTok. And of course, wrestling fans. If you enjoyed anything about this video, make sure you hit that like button down below. Make sure you leave me a comment down below. Subscribe to this channel, absolutely, and hit that bell for all notifications. Maybe two moves. And, <laughs> of course, if you enjoyed anything about this video, click like. He's going to be here next Friday like. for SmackDown Review. So, get ready for that. And, of course, we're going to have an On the Road next week. <laughs> Well, so, until I see you again, catch you on the other side.